Playful behavior is highly associated with the young of species but can be carried through into adulthood. The young show the greatest variation in play and spend the most time devoted to it. In canines, solicitation for play begins at around 22 days old. During play, many dogs will engage in solicited behavior, such as a bow position, an exaggerated approach that resembles a bouncy gait, approach withdrawal behavior, rocking back and forth, and face pawing. Playful behavior can consist of mock fighting, chasing tails, tug of war, and fetch, just to name a few. During play, one will normally see a dog's ears perked up and forward or relaxed. Their eyes will be wide open and merry looking. The mouth will be relaxed and slightly open and their teeth may be showing but not snarling. Dogs' tails may wag vigorously and excited barking or non-threatening growls may be heard. The purpose of play has been in constant debate. For individual puppies, playful behavior will contribute to acquiring motor skills, coordinating survival abilities, and getting physical exercise. Broom and Fraser describe play as a function to stimulate communal behavior, facilitate social interaction, provide puppies with an outlet to learn about social rules, enhance mental dexterity, and mold adult behavior. For domestic dogs, learning to control the intensity of their own bite is a significant lesson of play. Victoria Voith from the University of Pennsylvania describes how animals tend to modulate their play in relation to the reactions of each participant. When too much pressure is used in a bite and causes pain, the hurt pup or animal will yelp and the interaction will stop. In this way, the puppy will learn how to control the pressure of its bite, which is called bite inhibition. But when owners allow puppies to bite them and tolerate the pain, negative behavior is reinforced, which could lead to escalated aggression in adulthood. In contrast, positive play behavior can help socialize a puppy to other dogs and humans. With constant playful interactions, canines become more skilled at giving and understanding subtle body language. Rooney and Bradshaw hypothesize that when signals are absent or misunderstood, the interaction is seen as being competitive and dominant aggressive behavior can take place. It is important that canines should be exposed to playful behavior at all ages in order to learn and understand social relationships.